Chris Bell, what do you want? I want to record our pr Well, 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 if it isn't little Christopher and his friends. Peter! What is this? What are you doing? I was betrayed by my employer, so I started my own mercenary corps. Did you set all this up with Miss Lana? Miss Lana? You mean Lava? <laughs> we have an arrangement. She made sure Nareem was defenseless, and I loaned her some troops. I get to roll over Nareem. She gets the muscle to do whatever she wants to do in Cinder, so not really my problem. Um, anyone else wonder why he's just standing there telling us all this? Seems kind of silly if you think about it. Ooh, I'm a big bad guy now, and here's my whole Levo plan. I mean, who does that? Enough! I'm in charge here. Plus, none of you are going to make it out of here alive. Now do me a favor and just die. <laughs> You'll make a great meal for my pets.
see! One of those big... machines? This forest sure is strange. This is not a natural part of the forest. This was brought here by something else. It is one of the activation consoles for the ruins. But there is little we can do without an access key. Maybe Peter was assigned one too. I smell something on him. Indeed. He seems to have an access key in his possession. How can you... One task yet remains. Quickly, to the ruins! Wait! I would like to check on the people of Nareem first. Should we return to Nareem? Sure. Crispel, I can't thank you enough for everything you've done. We all feel that way, right, girls? Way to go, Chris! You saved the whole town! Now, as you may know, the orphanage is currently without a headmistress. Oh, it seems like the girls have some thoughts about who should fill that role. We all talked about it, Chris. I mean, Chris Bell. I mean, Mother Superior, ma'am. What? What? Mother Superior? Me? That sounds wonderful, girls. But there is something I need to do first. Don't worry, Chris Bell. We understand. I'll tell you what. I'll watch over the girls, just for now, until you come back and take them off my hands. Your family, Chris. We love you. I... I love all you, too. I have no idea how much. I'll be back. Promise. Will you wait for me, girls? Take it easy on Magda? Of course, Cri- Mother Superior. One task yet remains. Quickly, to the ruins! Attempting to initiate deactivation protocol. Access key accepted. A deactivation protocol in Nareem terminal deactivated. Marvelous work, everyone. Yes, another one down. Yes, but there is still more to do. Come, friends, on to the next kingdom. This terminal is already de- Where to? I wonder how things are going with Armando and Sophia. It has been a while. Maybe we should check in.
Shall we make a record of... I want to record a... Sophia is a good lady. She helped us get inside Walled City. I want to be like her when I grow up. Whatever happens, I'm just happy that the conflict is over and nobody else will go missing. Sophia has always kept our children. I like that Sophia was... It's good to have you back again in the city. It's been a while since the last time. Stop right there. The city is off limits. Seriously? Again? I'm... Yeah, I remember. Doesn't matter. No one is allowed up on orders of the hand. Who is this hand person anyways? The new brass. Look, I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. You're not getting up there. Okay, now I'm really concerned for Sophia and Armando. What do we Well, we do know of an alternate route. Should we climb the vines? Let's go up. Climbing is fun and all, but I thought we were trying to get into the city. Damn. They blocked it off. Someone must have figured it out from last time. Still, if we can just get into the sewers again, we can make our way up to the city. Do you know of any other paths that lead into the sewers? Not that I can think of. Maybe someone in town will have an idea. Let's ask Rebecca again. She knows every nook and cranny in this town. It's closed again. Haven't we done this before? The exit seems to be quite high up there. Let me give you a hand. Hey, Rebecca, this is going to sound like a weird question. Do you happen to know any good ways into the city's sewer system? Don't think so, but I used to see Peter slinking off to the sewers sometimes. Now that I think of it, he mentioned a gate in the southeast corner of town. It's all one big sewer system, so it might connect to the city. Thanks, Becca. We'll give it a shot. Are you sure this is where Rebecca saw Peter going? Yeah, but it looks like a dead end to me. It must be a hidden entrance kind of thing! <gasps> Fine! Let's all spread out and find it! I think I found it! This looks to be a different area of the sewers than where we were last time. Like Becca said, it all has to connect up somehow. Let's get moving. I'm worried about Mom and Dad. Chris Bell, what do you- I want to re-
It feels nostalgic, doesn't it? Similar to the first place I saw you. The smell of these sewers. Hannah doesn't like it very much. I prefer bright blue skies and green mountains. But I guess this will do just fine for now. I'm amazed by how they were able to replicate even the smell of the real St. Clarity sewer system. It feels the Do you remember the last time we were down in these sewers? Do I remember? We almost got eaten by a sewer monster. Sort of hard to forget. Yeah. The sewer monster I was just blindly chasing. And Wilhelm. He... He said that if I was gonna go around calling myself a warrior, I should try acting like one. That definitely sounds like Wilhelm. Since he died, I keep thinking to myself. What if I had done this? What if that had happened? So many things I could have done differently. It's weird, though. I don't really find myself wishing I'd been a better warrior. I don't think it would have helped. Mostly, I just wish I'd been a better friend. Christopher, that's... I know, I know. It's stupid. I shouldn't have said anything. Let's just keep moving. That's pretty disturbing. What is that thing? That is a corpse, Zaz. Human remains, slowly decaying. I would imagine that scavengers... Look at the clothes. She must have been St. Clarity's mother superior. The one Enzo... got rid of. He just... dumped her in the sewer? No one deserves that. Once we figure out what's going on here, We'll let Armando know. She deserves a proper funeral. Mother Superior, I'm sorry. Wait, one of the machines from those ruins was down here? Perhaps, but we cannot do much with it until we find the access key. Is that Father Miguel? Whoa! And some kind of huge monster! That thing looks like the other sewer monster we beat. More like its big brother. Well, my little pet. It seems like you're coming along nicely. It's such a pity. What happened to your predecessor? Oh. I only ever got to use it to get rid of that woman. Yes, yes. Do you want more? Some of the Empress's orbs? Here you go. Grow big and strong now. You understand? I still have a job for you. We have to go after them. I'm a hunter, so following their tracks is pretty easy. They went east.
Wait, wasn't this place flooded before? What's going on? Beats me, but it's not flooded now. Come on, that priest headed to the north, past those stairs over there. Back to Walled City then. Chris Bell, what do you- I want to record our- Chris Bell, what do you- I want to- Is that... Christopher? And Crispell? You came back! Audrey, what is going on here? Are Mom and Dad all right? It's Father Miguel. He took Armando and Sofia hostage. After you two left, he amped up the rhetoric about being the lady's hand. It's like some sort of cult. Where is he now? In the cathedral, holding mass. And that's where we're headed. Sophia knows more than anyone about the economics of St. Clarity. With her leading the city, St. Clarity will thrive. I've decided I'm going to leave town if anyone other than Sophia... I think I might... Should... The courthouse is off-limits. Orders from the first hand. With Enzo gone and Sophia in charge, I hope things will change for the people of the Floodlight District. You're in the Wildcat Army! Sophia said she wanted me to help equip the city's guards so they can fight monsters better. Meow. That makes me very happy. Meow.
in the wild. The entrance is closed from this side, too. It must be that rat, Miguel. We'll find him and force him to open them. And so, let us all close our eyes, join hands, and pray to the Lady for salvation. In the name of the Hand. Miguel, you scumbag! I should have known better than to trust you. Chris, uh, Christopher, uh, is it, uh, and Chris Bell? I thought the Empress would have dealt with you by now. We decided to make a little detour. Where are my parents? Your parents? I'm sure I don't know. Guards, these heathens are here in defiance of the Lady's will. Get them! We've put down your dogs. Now tell me where my parents are. Well, uh, you see... Tell me now! Or else... No need to get violent, dear boy. We are all already sinners. Now that I think of it, I may have seen your parents going down into the sewers. I can show you the way. Are you sure we can trust this guy? I am absolutely certain we cannot trust this man. If he tries anything, we'll feed him to the sewer monster. I believe your parents are in here. They had better be. Mom! Dad! Son! 
Christopher! Quite a touching reunion. Enjoy it while you can. This will be nothing like those gods. Afterwards, the city will finally be mine. My plan was perfect. In a few days, the bodies would have washed up somewhere, ravaged by the sewer monster. It would be impossible to trace back to me. No one would ever, could ever suspect. How, how could you? You really planned this all out? And if I did, what then? Will you kill me? No, that would make you the monster. Perhaps you'll tell the citizens. Go ahead. Try. All of St. Clarity adores me. These provincial idiots will believe anything I tell them. All of St. Clarity adores me. These provincial idiots will believe anything I tell them. By the lady. What is? Oh, it's just a new device I invented. It records and plays back sound. I figured that should be enough to convince the citizens. You know, 
since we provincial idiots will believe anything you tell us. I don't know how we can ever thank you enough. You've restored order to the city. Again. I can't believe Father Miguel was working for the Empress. I never suspected. It makes some sense looking back on it. He and Enzo conspired to change the faith. Insidious, but effective. Thank you, Armando. Could I bother you with another request? Of course, Crispell. After all you've done for St. Clarity, just name it. We're looking for a special key. We think Father Miguel may have had it, since he was so close to the Empress and Enzo. Hmm. Now that you mention it, we confiscated all of his belongings, and there was one strange thing. Here, is this what you're looking for? It is. Thank you again, Armando. Nice. Now we just need to have Kay do his magic at the console. Won't you stay this time, son? This is your home. I'd love to, Dad, but I can't. Still have work to do, saving the world and all that. Once that's done, I'll be back. I promise. I plan to hold you to that. We miss you, Christopher. Good luck out there, and be careful. Okay, then. Back to the sewers. This does indeed appear to be the correct access key. Great! Now we only need to use it. I shall do so now. One moment. Attempting to initiate emergence protocol. Access key accepted. Emergence protocol initiated. St. Clarity Terminal. Activating. I believe we have succeeded in our efforts. The ruins have now risen to the surface. Well done. Now we must go and prevent the explosion. Should we return to the entrance? Sure. You got this, right, Kay? The process should be the same as at the other ruins. There is no cause for alarm. Attempting to initiate deactivation protocol. Insufficient privileges detected. Providing access key. Access key denied. Um, that sounds... bad. Attempting to initiate deactivation protocol. Providing access key. Access key denied. Okay, what is... Perhaps there is a loose connection. I will shift the connector slightly. Attempting to initiate deactivation protocol. Providing access key. Access key accepted. Administrator override acknowledged. Deactivation protocol initiated. For a moment there, I thought... It is as I said. There was no cause for alarm. Defeated another doohickey! What a strange way of speaking. But yes, the self-destruct mechanism has been deactivated. We cannot afford to waste too much time here. We must proceed to the next kingdom. This is all so depressing. What is wrong, Crispell? Are you not happy? We saved the city again. I know, it's just... I thought we fixed everything the first time. That all of the city's troubles were over. But now, those thoughts just seem so naive. Just a little girl's foolish dreams. 
It never ends, does it? There will always be more problems to solve. As long as there are people to cause them, yes. It's a cycle that never ends. I guess we just have to always be vigilant. Or, you know, we could just keep talking and wait for the world to explode. Zaz is correct. Though it will require further effort, we should attempt to prevent total annihilation. Shall we head to the ruins? Where to? Is this Cinder? Why is everything... destroyed? Right... So you see, Kari... Oh, um... A wizard did it? It was scary! The mom said I should not worry! We're going to be alright! Another tragedy befalls the kingdom. Our homes, our loved ones... It's just awful. What's going on here, Fenia? The city's been destroyed! Look who's talking! Who do you think you are? Showing up after all this time with a band of foreign mercenaries? Secretary Lana, what are you doing here? Lana? No, that's Lava. Lava! You know, the youngest of the Volcano Sisters? Crispell? Crispell? You did this, didn't you? Crispell didn't destroy the city, Lava. Honestly, she's the only reason this much of it survived. Then, who caused this? What happened? The Empress happened. She and her minion triggered a magma wave that buried much of the town. The Empress? And her minion? Kari Hudo? That can't be. I know, Kari. She would never do anything to hurt this city. Why is she talking about me? Would you believe... <laughs> never mind. I'll explain later. She was so obsessed with getting her revenge. I fear she never stopped to think of the consequences. It can't be. She would never do this. <laughs> <laughs> 